Hello, everybody. This is the Hurricane, and welcome to show number two at Broadcast City, the old, the iconic Billy's Cafe on the rough and tumble, historic, iconic Bedford Street, four of a mass. You know how we do it here. The Hurricane's six pack of hot topics that are on the top of my mind. We're going to talk about the definition of a hero. We're going to talk about Tom Brady's biggest appointment. We're going to talk about USA Women's Soccer. We're going to talk about Kyrie Irving. We're going to talk about what separates uh, uh, the Patriots uh, from the rest of them. Okay? So, six five-minute topics. Hurricane's Hot Topics. I'm ready to rock and roll. And we, got, we are joined here by my man. My brother from another mo mother, the kiss stealing, whatever that, whatever Rick Flair, Rick Flair's got kiss going for him. stealing, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, uh, jet flying, uh, rooting, tooting, son uh, of a gun. Woo! Woo! Uh, okay. Which one do you want to hear for us? What, 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 what do you, you want to go with for us? Let's go with heroes. Heroes. Okay. Growing up. Many athletes were heroes throughout athletics, from Jesse Owens and Muhammad Ali to Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle and Derek Jeter and Bill Russell and Larry Bird and Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky and Bobby Orr. We go on and on and on and on. But with today's modern athletes, how many of them can you say are a true hero? We hear about money. We hear about contract holdouts. We hear about arrests. We hear about all that's bad. Okay? There are a lot of athletes that do a lot of good. But for some reason, it does not get reported as much. Okay? And let me be perfectly clear for you. You do not have to wear a badge or go into a burning building or defend this country to be a hero. Mm -hmm. There are many, and I'm not thinking, thinking that, they're, they're heroes as well, but there are many other heroes. People who inspire people every day. People who help people every day. And somebody like Roberto Clemente. Okay? And let me break it down to the type of baseball player it was because it needs to be in that kind of context. Okay? Yeah. Roberto Clemente, 18 years in Major League Baseball. Four-time batting champ, lifetime average of 317, hit 3,000 hits, 240 home runs, 15-time All-Star, World Series MVP, okay, uh, and played for the Pirates only for 17 years. And a tremendous defensive player at that, eight-time gold glover, like you said, 71 MVP. Yeah, um, uh, unbelie unbelievable arm. Um, he was the face of the Pittsburgh Pirates, okay? And had an amazing career. Breakthrough uh, career for, for, for Latino, okay? First Latino uh, Caribbean born uh, person in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame, by the way. Yes, indeed. So with that, ki with that kind of cachet and that kind of resume and that kind of swag, all right, you figure on New Year's Eve, 1973, two years after winning the World Series, the big man in Major League Baseball, He's not, walking, he's not walking around popping bottles, okay? He's not walking around with two women on each arm. He ain't hanging with the boys, running around Pittsburgh, New York, or L.A. like he could have been. You know what he's doing? He's on a plane that he charted by himself, loaded with food and medical supplies, to going to Nicaragua to help the earthquake victims who were starving and in desperate need and in desperate need of medical attention, okay? That is what he was doing on New Year's Eve. And unfortunately, that plane crashed, and he died in it. On New Year's Eve, when the rest of us are acting like fools, running around doing all kinds of sins, okay? Roberto Clemente, a star of stars, dies bringing food and medical supplies to starving children in families. That to me is the definition of a hero. And if I'm gonna die 
Please let it be like that. Please let it be me bringing food and aid like Roberto Clemente, okay, under the radar, no press, to people who are in desperate need. And his people, his people, that's honor. That's a hero of my definition. Roberto Clemente, rest in peace. I, I totally agree with you. He died the way he lived. Yeah, that that, okay. that was that was exactly the way he lived. He he didn't do things like that for the recognition. Yeah. He didn't do things like that so so that it, so that it he would died be a hero, on Brian. The front page of the sure. paper. Yeah, he he died a hero. I I can't think of a better way to go. R.I.P. Roberto Clemente, a true hero in my book.